Rupert Murdoch's 70-year career. Five ways he has changed the world. Rupert Murdoch has officially retired. At 92, he stepped down as chairman of Fox Corporation and News Corporation. His son, Lachlan Murdoch, is set to take over. Let's recall some of Rupert's career-defining moments. 1. A Media Empire At 21, Murdoch inherited the Adelaide News from his father. By the 1960s, he'd created Australia's largest newspaper conglomerate. His papers influenced the rise and fall of PM Gough Whitlam. In the late 1960s, Murdoch set his sights on Britain. He acquired the news of the world. He also launched The Sun, which became Britain's bestseller. Its success was a mix of sex, celebrity, and sports. The Sun shifted allegiance from labor to endorsing Margaret Thatcher. In 1981, Murdoch secured the Times titles with government backing. He battled print unions at Wapping. Then he threw his weight behind Tony Blair. Even post-Iraq invasion, he remained a staunch supporter. Polls shifted and papers followed Murdoch's lead. He supported David Cameron and then made Brexit mainstream. A TV venture in Britain almost bankrupted Murdoch in the 1990s. But B Sky B grew into a major sports broadcaster. Murdoch came to merge Sky with his papers in 2011. A major scandal halted his plans. 2. A Billion Dollar Scandal In 2011, the Guardian investigation uncovered phone hacking at News of the World. Murdoch's journalists had tapped into private messages in pursuit of stories. The turning point was Millie Dowler's phone hacking. In 2002, the 13-year-old girl was abducted, raped, and murdered. News of the World later hacked into her phone. The scandal caused a public and political outcry. Murdoch closed the Sunday tabloid and halted the Sky merger. He paid $1.2 billion in compensation to victims. Murdoch also faced MPs. He insisted he knew nothing of phone hacking. He declared it the most humble day of my life. 3. The Rise of Fox Britain lost its appeal for Murdoch as he relocated to New York in 1974, but it took him a while to score his first big win, launching the Fox Television Network in 1986. People said the market couldn't handle another national broadcaster. Fox became the fourth national broadcaster in the U.S. Fox News emerged in 1996, led by Roger Ailes. Ailes had led both Nixon and Reagan to election victories. Twenty years later, the Murdoch ally was accused of sexual harassment. Twenty women, including host Gretchen Carlson, filed complaints. Eventually, Ailes was ousted. 4. The 2000 Election In 2000, Fox News called the election early for George W. Bush. Florida was still undecided, but other networks followed Murdoch's lead. They set the momentum for the Republicans. The election's true winner is disputed to this day. 5. Murdoch-Trump Alliance Murdoch's political influence peaked with Donald Trump's 2016 election. Murdoch had never been close to a U.S. president before. Even George W. Bush didn't know him well, asking Blair, What's Rupert like? Yet Murdoch gained direct access to advise President Trump. In 2017, the two spoke almost every day. It was a friendship of convenience. According to a Trump bestseller, Murdoch called him phony and a f idiot over the phone.